Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, another week and I've actually managed uh, a bit more modelling and some, and, and, and so I've got stuff to talk about in the video. Um, I wasn't sure whether I would manage manage that, as I said, having had a break of like eight months between the last video and the one before it, um, there was always a chance I wouldn't get um, more time to do more modelling. But so far, so good, things seem to have, um, life seems to have stayed fairly normal uh, and I've got some got some things done. So let's have a look at what we've got so far. Um, mostly it's been adding some detailing um, to the body. None of this is, is glued in place yet, as I spoke about um, in the last video. I want to be able to um, basically strip it back down so that it's easier to paint and then I can add the the pipe work and stuff back on um, after it's had the the most of the major coats of, uh, of paint before it then gets the weathering. Um, so um, yeah, most of the parts that I've fitted have come from the the Narrow Planet detailing kit. So the chimney is about, I think, the only one you've seen kind of off the sprue, as it were, before. Um, and that has obviously now been glued in place. I've also glued in place the locking mechanism for the smoke box door. Um, and the whistle on the top of the dome, um, as well as a kind of a beefier form and the kind of cheap plastic version that was on the original kit. Now, <clears throat> before I lose any of these parts, I'm just going to take the cab off. Now you've had a kind of brief look at it with the cab on and the whistle off. Um, put these over here, just so bits don't fall off on me. Um, <clears throat> so, what else have we got? Well, we talked last time about the fact that there was lots of uh, pipe work and stuff, and I didn't necessarily know what it all, all did. Um, I posted that video um, on uh, one of the modelling forums I'm on, and, and one of the other people there, uh, Tim Sanderson, was very kindly um, told me what everything is for. Now I still don't necessarily understand all the words or what they all do, but I can at least um, go through them as I as I point them and tell you about what I fitted and how it works. So these um, side valves here, the valves on the side of the boiler, uh, these are what are called injector clacks apparently. Uh, they're to stop steam from the boiler uh, blowing back into the, the main injectors. Um, so that's what they're for. Um, these obviously they're not glued in place as I said. They need to kind of um, be kind of pushed against the what the pipe work needs to be kind of pushed back in a bit better uh, against the side of the boiler, and then um, they need to be cut off at the bottom of this casting so that they would look on the final model as if they're passing through the the foot plate. Um, I did consider, in fact, I did drill some holes in the plastic uh, foot plate, but in the end I filled them back in again because I decided it was going to be impossible to try and get them through. And then even then, if I got them through. Um, they can't poke out the bottom of the foot plate too far because it'll interfere with the wheels and everything else. So I'm just going to make it look um, as if they're as flush as I can with the bottom of this when they're glued on, which will be as flush as I can with the with the foot plate. And then hopefully, given that they'll be in a bit of a in a in a darker point because this bit I think is going to be black, um, they'll hopefully do that that will. Uh, um, We'll hide the fact they're not going through the, the foot plate anyway. So there's one of those on either side. And again, you know, they both need trimming to fit, but they're quite, they're really nice. Oops, really nice little um, little castings. Um, so they, that works fine. Um, and then, so I've got a fair amount of glare from the light. Let's try and cut that down a little bit. Um, and then I've got some more uh, valves on the top of the boiler. These are apparently the steam valves which supply the injectors. Uh, and again, the pipe work runs all the way down the, the side of the, the boiler and will go, in theory, through the, the foot plate about here, almost in the corner of the bunker. And again, I'll cut those flush um, and uh, try and disguise the fact that they're not actually going um, through the foot plate. Now, the remaining pipe work is something we talked about in the last video that didn't have uh, anything in the detailing kit. So on the original casting for the body, there was a, there was a, a line here. Um, that was the, it's called the blower pipe, um, allows you to blow steam essentially through the smoke box and up the, up the chimney, um, for numerous reasons, um, that I'm sure I, I won't get right if I try and explain, so I'm not going to, um, suffice it to say that as far as I can tell from photos, there's only one on this side of the loco and not on both sides, which there were on the original, um, on the original model. So I've filed the one on the other side off and I've replaced the, the moulded one on this side with an actual wire and as you see it's kind of already bent around the bottom of the injector clack on this side um, as it is appears to be on photos. Now what I didn't realise from the photos I was looking at uh, and that Tim kindly pointed out was actually 
this pipe is supposed to go up here to a third valve in this cluster where the steam valves are. Now there isn't a third valve in the detailing kit and he pointed that out after I'd already drilled a hole in the bunker um, to take the, for the wire to go through so in the end I decided that rather than trying to fabricate a valve that wouldn't necessarily look the same as these um, or as good as these I've left it going into the bunker um, like I did on the model of um, Talilin I did uh, from the Scaloi, Scaloi kit model um, so yeah so and I've added not just a little bit of wire um, but you can see there is a kind of like if I can get the camera to focus there's like a little flange bolt with bolts around the edge um, that's from um, a, a detailing edge from RT models I'll try and put a link in the description um, <clears throat> that I bought I think I might have bought it for doing Scala I don't know it had um, so essentially a cab detailing um, etch so it's got like um, a reversing lever it's got some gauges um, some valves I think these are meant to be um, essentially handles for the tops sort of uh, for, for, for things on the back head um, they've got like four little indentations etched in around the, the outside and then one in the middle and what I've done is I've drilled out the middle hole so I can get wire through it and there's, I've put one here uh, and one in the corner here and I think I used I might have used the same ones on uh, on Skylar as well which is nice because that will that will match um, and then the other thing I did was I've replaced the grab handle on the top of the tank um, this is a, that on the original model it's a fairly flimsy um, plastic part that drops into the top so I've just opened the, the holes out slightly and used some handrail knobs and some I think 0.5 millimeter uh, brass wire that's actually soldered together so the wires soldered into the into the handles it's been cleaned up a little bit but again um, just needs a final finish and then painting but as I say um, the flanges here the bolted flanges are actually glued onto the model um, but the wire all four valves the handrail um, and obviously I've already taken the whistle off all come off the, the chimney and the smoke box that I'm going to leave on because I think they're probably easier to paint on rather than fitting afterwards certainly the chimney I want to kind of you know paint and hide around the where the flange hits the boiler um, and I think the smoke box door also will, will be fine to paint because again I want to just paint it black the same as the rest of the rest of the, the smoke box door so that's that's fine but all the rest will come off all the rest will then get painted separately um, they'll probably get trimmed to fit the best I can before I before I paint them I'll probably still leave them a little long um, and then when they're glued into final position um, I'll trim them fully um, and touch up any paintwork um, as needed so that they um, they appear as I say kind of appear as well as I can that they go through the through the floor of the well through the top of the footplate uh, and then hide away so I think um, that's now all the essentially detailing parts for the body uh, there's there's a, um, a water filler cap that goes in the hole uh, on the back of here again I think I'm probably going to leave that off until I've painted the cab uh, and then fit it afterwards so I don't need to, I don't need to glue that glue that in yet so I think we're probably at the point where the next thing to do is to um, get some black primer um, onto this onto this body well possibly some I, what I did with them um, when I did tell Alien was to um, cover do it some gray um, I think gray etching primer first um, to get a really good coat on the coat and then a black primer uh, before I um, airbrushed on the the green and I think I'm gonna go with the same the same paint um, the same color scheme as I did for uh, for Talilin. so that'll be the green uh, for the boiler uh, cab bunkers etc uh, but we shall see that will obviously some of that when I get to it will come in the next video um, I'm hoping I'll, I'll at least have um, everything kind of primed um, and painted black uh, where appropriate um, by the by the next video I might not have got as far as um, as a green coat but hopefully my plan is to try and get everything to the to the black um, and then kind of test assemble it and make sure it all looks okay and I've not got any obvious gaps that need dealing with or anything before I then um, do the the, the grey no sorry the green um, top coat but as I say we'll have to see how uh, life and other modeling and things get in the way um, but hopefully that will be uh, there'll be another video in a week's time showing some of that until then thanks for watching um, and as I say um, I'll hopefully see you in a week